As you can see on the screen, I have earned around $2,293 here on Binance with just one trade. And today I will show you how to use this trailing stop on Binance trading. We'll also have a quick look at other exchanges such as BitGet and Bybit where I have also earned more than $10,200 with just one trade and on BitGet more than 3,500 profits with just one trade. But first, when you want to start trading and making money on Binance using any method, you need to create the 100% free account. And I will leave you a link in the description below the video where you can get up to $600 worth of bonuses to Binance. After clicking the link below the video or in the pinned comment you will land on Binance where you will see my face and my name where it says you can get up to 600 USDT trading bonuses and this is perfect for you if you are planning to do trading on Binance because this is specifically designed for you as a trader. You will simply click here to sign up or join now and you will get started on Binance for free. Once you are inside Binance and you want to redeem your welcome bonuses you can do it right here on the rewards hub and when you want to start doing trading you can do it here on the trade and you can click here spot it opens for you this trading view and here you can start using the trailing stop orders and if you want to trade futures also known as derivatives you can also do it right here and you can see that i'm earning more than two thousand dollars with just one trade now you notice here on binance you can use this trailing stop order both on futures derivatives and also here on the spot however not every major your crypto platform provides the same feature for example if you come to bitget or bybit you may notice that they don't provide it for both spot and derivatives and the same also applies for other exchanges however i believe that in the future bybit bitget and other exchanges will be adding this feature as well and by the time you are watching this it may already be available in your favorite exchanges first let me explain what is this trailing stop and then i will do some example trades in front of your eyes. In order for you to understand trailing stop loss, it helps you to understand what stop loss means for trading. Let me give you a simple example. I have here this trade open. It's a long position. So I earn more and more money as the price of Bitcoin goes higher. The current price for this trading pair is around 30,100 dollars so if i would want to set up a stop loss i can do it right here and i can choose here for example when the price of bitcoin drops from 30,100 all the way to 30,000 then the position will be closed and i will earn more than two thousand dollars worth of profits or i can set up the stop loss for example 25,000, and then the system closes the trade for me automatically and i earn the profit so it's very simple you simply set the specific price and when the price of trading pair reaches that price then it closes the position right but what is this trailing stop loss it's also very simple to help you to understand it easily let me show you synonyms and words related to trailing words related to trailing according to google are behind and following and that also explains for you this trailing stop loss. You can see here an example. If the activation price, so you open a trading stop loss order at 8,500, then the trailing price would be all the way down below here. But then the price of that asset starts moving higher, then the stop loss follows behind as you can see it follows this price and then same also here when the price moves even higher then it keeps on following behind so that's why it's trailing stop loss because it follows behind right same also here with trailing stop buy order you can see if you do the activation price at 9000 the trading price can be right here and the price drops it keeps on following it follows and follows and follows right and this is the difference comparing to normal stop loss order because if i would set up a normal stop loss order for example to 8000 it will stay all the way here on 8000 on this specific line forever unless i close it and i change it meanwhile a trade Trailing stop loss order it follows the price you can see here it keeps on following the price as it goes higher and that is for the trailing stop sell order and then of course the other way around for the trailing stop buy order when you are buying an asset i will now show you a couple of real life examples of trailing stop orders in front of your eyes but if you enjoy that i show all of these things for you for 100 free remember to subscribe to my youtube channel and share my channel with all of your friends 
who are interested in trading so your friends can start receiving money as well. When we come here to trailing stop, you will be able to choose the price when the order activates. And that is the first step of a trailing stop order. You can either set certain limit price or specific price when it activates, or you can start it immediately from the market price. If you set up an activation price and then the price never reaches that activation price, then the order never starts. So that's why if you want to be 100% sure that the, your trading stop loss order will be activated, uh, then the safest way is to set up it uh, for the market price. And here you can choose the trailing delta and here by default it suggests 1 or 2 percent. But for volatile trading pairs like BTC, USDT for example, uh, that may not be in enough in many cases you may say for example five percent as well or even more in some cases if you are wondering what does this percent that's mean it's simply the difference between the price and then the trailing price for example here is with the sell order in this case if i have some btc right here and i want to set up for example five percent trailing delta and i decided to start from the current price then it means that the stop order will be set up five percent below the current market price and now the price is around 30,100. However, now if the Bitcoin starts to go higher from this, for example, 31,000, 32,000, 35,000, so on and so forth, then my stop loss, it keeps on moving higher, as you can see right here. But when the price of Bitcoin drops, then the stop loss doesn't move below along with that. It simply stays on the same line, which is 5% from this top price. But then when the price of an asset reaches new all-time highs, then again, the price of a stop loss goes higher. And the order will be triggered, you can see right here, when the price of an asset drops in this case 5% from the top and you can see that this can give you more profit than for example a regular stop loss order let's say that you would set up a stop loss order here for example 8075 only in this one or 8000 then the stop loss would be here so when the price of bitcoin goes all the way higher and higher and higher then it doesn't take your profit somewhere like here the stop loss simply stays right here and it doesn't grab the profits right here i will open now an example trade you you can see here I have trailing delta 5% limit 28,000 and you want to make sure that this limit price and the market price has a bigger difference than what you put here because if it's smaller then the stop loss order may not be activated uh, let's put here for example 2% I click here sell BTC it says the order will be activated with the last price immediately okay you click here continue and you can see that it has gone immediately right here and it was activated immediately because I have not chosen this one the specific activation price I have chosen to do it in the market price and now you can see the trailing delta is 5% so if the price of BTC ever drops 5% from the highest price then the stop loss order would be triggered and this would be selling for me automatically some of my BTC let me close this one and show you also an example here on the Binance futures when you're on the futures you will be setting up the trailing stop losses here on the right hand side and here you can set up the callback rate and you can see here that the callback rate ranges from 0.1 to 5 percent here on Binance futures let's put for example two percent and you can choose here the activation price from the mark or last price and then here you can choose the size and then you can choose to buy long or sell short i will not set it up right now i will simply keep my open order right here and i will let it keep on running more and more profit as the time moves forward now if you're thinking about when would it be smart to use trailing stop orders of course you can ask that gpt you can see an example here i told give me five scenarios you'd recommend to use a trailing stop loss and then it gives you all types of examples but one popular way how people use it is for example when the price of an asset is creating new all-time highs let me give you an example right here in 2017 bitcoin ran all the way just from a few hundred dollars to more than nineteen thousand dollars and then it dropped so if you would have set up a trailing stop loss uh, let's say somewhere right here when it started around let's say three four thousand then it keeps on taking it higher and higher and higher 
higher and when we reach the all-time high and the price of BTC starts dipping then it would take the profits instead of going all the way down here right and the same of course applies right here you could set up the trading stop loss in 2020 in the beginning of 2021 and as the price of Bitcoin shoots up then the stop loss will be following behind the price and then when the price drops then it takes the profits so that's a good example of using these trailing stop losses in a strong volatility it provides you protection from the downside now if you are asking me is trading stop loss order obligatory when making money with trading and the answer is no you don't need trading stop loss to make money in fact you can make money even with simple trades let me just give you three examples from my own life here i earned more than two thousand dollars for one trade here i made more than three thousand five hundred dollars with one trade here i made more than ten thousand three hundred dollars with one trade so just with those three trades i earned more than fifteen thousand dollars no trading stop loss needed and of course you can make money even with automated trading bots on all of these platforms like i made on binance here more than three thousand seventy one dollars with an automated trading bot so if you want to learn my simple trading strategies you can also learn that on my playlist earn money on bybit and also earn money on binance you can simply take your finger right now click right here and you will learn simple trading strategies to earn money on bybit